let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online 6.3.1 adds the Jester's Festival for testing. Includes several bug fixes for the new Flames of Ambition dungeons, some champion system and general ability fixes, fixes for a few game crashes, and more. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to go through the Jester's Festival stuff. So, under known issues, this is one of the biggest things right now that's hurting the PTS. Armor reduction bonuses are not currently working against targets who do not have the armor stat. Monsters do not have armor and only have physical and spell resistance. So right now, pretty much all the enemies have um, 18,200 resists and Breach, Crusher, Alkosh, all that stuff. None of it's working right now. So can't really get good testing on where the DPS numbers are actually at. I mean, you can, you can do math on it um, and, and figure it out. But with DPS being a lot lower because of this bug, you'll end up spending like five plus minutes on the trial dummy for each test and so it's just a lot of extra time wasted that I think a lot of people don't want to mess with until it's actually fixed. Um, but hopefully next week they have that sorted out and we can really start digging in and seeing where everything stacks up. Hey Inklings, what's up? Hey Elias, how's it going? Dr. Poopy Pants, what's up? Oh, Archangel, you're talking about with no Alkosh to hit cap. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, for the for the trial dumb, it'll be a little lower than that. It will have Alkosh active, or it should anyways, unless they change something. Um, so you won't you won't even need that much if you have Alkosh going. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, a lot of groups are already running um, no Alkosh on bosses for mag anyways. it's it, You can kind of go either way with it. But, but yeah, hopefully they get this fixed up um, so we can really dig in and start getting some good testing done. Thank you very much for the follow. Thanks for the follow, 12 stream. All right, the champion system, the Rationer Passive, is currently reporting its current bonus in milliseconds rather than minutes. Uh, I'm not sure which one this is off the top of my head. We can take a look at that though. Uh, bonuses that increase range currently report their current bonuses in centimeters rather than meters. Okay. So just a few, few known issues. This top one is the big one though that is limiting our testing at the moment. Uh, let's see. For dungeons, scale color peak. The last rate ability used by gargoyles now has a large telegraph to indicate it can be blocked. Okay, and then they did a bunch of fixes for the new dungeons. What else do we have here? Some housing fixes. Uh, this is another pretty big one. Lord Falgraven's prisoners are no longer able to be affected by player abilities. So, Thank you very much for the hey, X and FGC, thank you both for the follows. Um, this was one of those strategies in Kinds Aegis that the player base didn't really know if the developers intended for it or not. Um, it was kind of cool. So pretty much if for those that don't know What you're able to do is on the final phase of Falgraven When you go up you go up the stairs instead of killing the torturers You could heal up the prisoners and then the torturers would come down But they wouldn't be enraged and non-enraged. They're super easy to kill and 
they don't hit very hard at all. So it was it was kind of an interesting, different way of handling that. Instead of going up and killing the torturers, you you healed the prisoners. So um, I thought it was kind of a cool mechanic. It did make it quite a bit easier, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. But um, you know, the healing on the prisoners that was required to, in order to keep them healed was pretty light. Like you barely had to do anything. So I don't know. I. I'd kind of like to see this mechanic still exist, but maybe require um, a little more healing. Or, or I don't know. Like I thought it was neat. It, you don't see a lot of mechanics like that in Trials, and so it kind of sucks that it wasn't intended and it was actually just uh, an oversight, and they're getting rid of it. Because um, I thought it was kind of cool. It wasn't just like oh, just always always do damage and that's the answer you know it was something outside of the box that i thought was kind of cool so uh we'll see i guess i guess it's gone i you know if if any devs are listening i i think a lot of the community thought it was a pretty cool mechanic but yeah maybe maybe it was a little too easy with the way it was set up yeah the the executes already difficult because of the constant outgoing damage so you know it definitely did make it easier and maybe in the devs eyes it made it too easy i'm not sure but is what it is that that uh strategy will no longer work for uh for the flames of ambition dlc um and i think I think that's about it. Like I said, the patch notes are pretty short today. Just some... Uh, a few fixes. Oh, here's a few more things. Okay, combat and abilities. Okay, fixed additional issues where bonuses for certain attacks could unintentionally affect other attacks. Bonuses that increase your chance of finding better fish, such as Angler's Instincts and Artan Pickled Fish Bowl, now more accurately describe their effects and no longer include a static percent bonus, which was incorrect as fish can't do math or probability equations. Okay. Um, all right, so just, just kind of clearing up some tool tips, seems like, on that. Hey, X, you take it easy as well. Yeah, thanks for stopping in with the follow. Um, let's see. Rapid maneuvers fix an issue where casting this ability's Morse would fail on nearby innocence if the setting prevent attacking innocence was turned on. All right, yeah, I gotta give those NPCs uh, some speed boost. <laughs> champion system updated all tool tips in the champion point system to follow a new layout that describes their per stage and current bonus based on points spent. Okay. Yeah, some of the tooltips were kind of buggy. Some of them would say like 3% per stage, and it had five stages, but then the max it said 10%. So it a lot of the stuff didn't add up. So hopefully that's all fixed up. And then... Yeah, I think that's... I think that is about it now. Okay, yep. So yeah, like I said, short patch notes today. Um, but yeah, the big things, the Kinds Aegis trial change, not being able to heal the prisoners. You have to kill the torturers. That was a big one. And then, um, yeah. And then the known bugs with the physical and spell resistance. So. I think we'll see a lot more next week and I will make sure to cover it. So bye YouTube.